I'm not talking about wet. I'm talking about the violence in which people are bet on charge by police, beaten up. I'm talking about police firing on unarmed people. I'm talking about the indirect violence you get through starvation in the townships. I'm talking about the hopelessness, the desolation of the transit camps. Now, I think that, all put together, that constitutes more terrorism than the words these men have spoken here, but they stand charged. And white society is not charged. So, your answer to this so-called naked terrorism is to provoke violence in the black community. No, our movement seeks to avoid violence. But your own words call for direct confrontation. That's right. We demand confrontation. Isn't that a demand for violence? Well, you and I are now in confrontation, but I see no violence. <laughs> but nowhere in these documents do you say that the white government is doing anything good? Well, it does so little good, my lord, that it is not worth commenting on. <laughs> but surely that approach inflames racial hatred and anti-whiteism. My lord, blacks are not unaware of the hardships they endure or what the government is doing to them. We want them to stop accepting these hardships, to confront them. People must not just give in to the hardships of life. They must find a way, even in this environment, to, to develop hope. Hope for themselves, for this country. Now, I think that is what black consciousness is all about. Now, without any reference to the white man, to try and build up a sense of our own humanity, our legitimate place in the world. Darkness, my